Rough Projects has been showing in Art Basel Hong Kong for the past uh, six years now, or this is the sixth year. And for the first five editions, we've been showing in the discovery sector, showing uh, solo presentations of young emerging artists from Indonesia. For our sixth year, um, we are now in the gallery section, and uh, the curation and the idea behind what we're showing is essentially a reunion of all the artists who've really been with us from the beginning and inception of our gallery. So some of the highlights uh, of our booth include uh, this work by Bagus Pandega, who was the first artist we showed in the discovery section. His works normally um, utilize um, these really funky kinetic sound and light installations. And in this particular instance, he's talking about labor and the people who are normally invisible in the art industry who help artists make works. And in this work, he's conducted a series of interviews with different people who, who in some shape or form, uh, have helped him produce his work, either in, as factory workers, either as um, people who sell the different parts and components of his installation. And in these interviews, he discusses with them about um, very personal things, um, their dreams and ambitions and things of that nature. So in doing so, um, conceptually, he's trying to elevate them and place them um, on the same level of it as his artwork. So essentially it's an artwork about the people who helped them make the artwork. Another highlight of our uh, booth is a work by Aditya Novali. And it's a large scale series of four works that are actually uh, together as a set. Uh, the core of this work is this uh, work on canvas that rotates into many different permutations. So essentially the painting can turn into so many different uh, possibilities. And it talks about the no notion and nature of a person's identity and how we show, reveal, and disclose uh, certain parts of ourselves, but it may not necessarily reflect the full thing. Uh, this was then deconstructed uh, by him in works on plexiglass. And although the work looks quite visually uh, complex, he actually limits himself to two uh, foundational mediums, which are number one, a, a black pen, and secondly, a green pen. And using these constraints, he explodes the aesthetic idea into uh, many different tangents. So those are two of some of the works that are interesting.